So I'm back to do a quick meal with you for the Daniel Fast. Tonight's meal is going to be lentil soup and it's going to be under 10 minutes to make. Super easy. So let's jump into it. All right. I'm going to turn on the eye. I've got some olive oil. I put about one fourth cup of olive oil in the skillet so it's ready to go. We've got our chopped onions and I'm just going to put the chopped onions. Let me turn where you can see it into the pot. And this is one medium yellow onion. And then I'll just season that with some turmeric. Turmeric is really good. So I put it on almost everything just because it's really good for you. We've got cumin. Just throw some, and I just season it to taste you all. I don't use, you know, measuring. I utensils that often but you probably should <laughs> but I don't I just do it to taste and I let the Holy Spirit guide me first and foremost let the Holy Spirit help you do the work Holy Spirit help me as I cook and prepare this meal that it may be delicious and all who make it it will be delicious hallelujah oh it smells so good so we're gonna let that saute for just a little bit. How was your day? Did y'all have a good day? I hope that you all had a wonderful day at work. I came home, got right to cooking. Um, I had to go pick up my son from school and get them something to eat. And then I went right to preparing the meal. So I know a lot of you are like me, you're on the go. You come in, you hit the ground running. And so next what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put in some kale, right? Just a little bit. I'm just gonna put a little bit and I'll add some more later. And it's just gonna wilt down. That's really good. Let's see, what else do I have? Carrots. We're gonna put a few carrots, and I buy these already shredded up because when I come in from work, I don't have time to be cut, uh, cutting up a lot of vegetables. So for me, this is just you know easy. Part of the prep work is already done. Kind of like a cheat, but you know, us moms gotta do what we gotta do, right? right so that smells so good, and I'm gonna add some sea salt to this. So I've got my sea salt and I'm just gonna add a pinch. A pinch of that. And just leave that right here. And then I'm gonna add in the tomatoes. And I just got a can, a 28 ounce can of Rotel diced tomatoes. And I'm gonna dump them in here. Remember, this meal is going to be quick, under 10 minutes. I'm doing it kind of slow because I'm doing it step by step. But you all, once you get the hang of this, dump, 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 and go. All right, so we've got that going on. We're going to put some more of the kale. All right, I'm going to show you all what I'm doing so you all can actually see, right? So here we have, that's what we have in the pot. And so we're just simmering it right now, letting all of the seasoning and the marinades culminate together to make something beautiful, right? And this right here, this will probably last me, hopefully until Sunday, you all. I like to prepare several different types of meals so I can have a little bit of variety. And then it's a lot of work on the front end of the week, but then when you get to the weekend, you can kind of just eat off of the leftovers, which is always great. All right, so I'm gonna stir that. Well, my son came home today and he was like, Mom, me and my small group, you know, my friends, they're talking about doing the dangle fast. And he started asking me about it. And I'm like, I've been trying to get you to do the dangle fast forever with me. But look at the Lord. I love how he sends in help. He sends in divine connections. And so now um, my son is going to jump in on the fast and I will have all the tools to help him get started. So I'm excited about that. You know, that's why I love, you don't force your will, 
You just teach and show the way and God will send other people to come in to help, you know, put a little push, a little encouragement and make it exciting. And they want to do it because their friends are doing it right. And so I'm excited. All right. So I'm letting the kale. Now you don't have to use kale. You can actually use collard greens. So if you love collard greens, you can uh, do that instead. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the heat up on this just a little bit. All right, so next step, we are gonna add vegetable broth. Now this organic vegetable broth, I was very, um, you know, I looked at the ingredients very carefully to make sure that there was no sugar because what I noticed is, and a lot of these, they put cane sugar in it. So I had to find one that did not have sugar, so be careful about that. So I'm gonna use the whole, uh, vegetable broth, the whole, uh, what do you call this, carton of it. There we go. Squeeze, get everything out of there. There we go. And then I have two cups of water, two cups. And then we'll stir it up. And it's looking good. Looking very good. All right, so here we go. We're gonna turn up the heat a little bit because the next step is we're gonna add the lentils. And um, you wanna make sure that it's at a boiling temperature at first. And you can just start, you know, adding a little bit more seasoning, taste the broth as you go through. Um, as you're cooking it to see if it tastes like you want. Remember, we are using cumin, curry. Um, I'm using turmeric, garlic salt, sea salt. And like I said, just let the Holy Spirit help you. Ask him to help you make it just so good, right? And he's so faithful. I'm telling y'all, even in my cooking, in all my ways, I try my very best to acknowledge God and not leave him out of the process because it makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. All right, so I'm gonna stir that in there. And I'm thinking it needs some sea salt, another pinch, and then I'll taste it in just a little bit. All right, while well, that's Continuing to brew, we're gonna add some more kale. I love kale. Add that little bit to it. And when it gets hot enough, when you feel like it's boiling, then you wanna add the lentils. And lentil soup is so delicious because you can have it over a bed of brown rice, you can have it by, your, by itself. Um, with some avocados. I put avocados on everything because I love avocados, you all. That's one of my favorite things to eat. So you can even put sesame seeds or pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds um, on top of the soup to garnish it to make it really pretty, but also um, it's good for texture if you want a little crunch. So good, all right. So here I've already rinsed out my lentils and I just have red lentils. You can use red. You can use green lentils, brown lentils, you know, whatever you want. So. And so that was just one cup of lentils. I don't know if I said that or not, but I will definitely uh, put the recipe below so you don't miss a thing, but that's one cup of lentils. Stirring it into the, the broth. You wanna make sure your lentils are covered. I'm gonna add a little bit more vegetable broth because I like mine's a little bit more soupy. So let me go and do that. Mm -hmm. I had 
some left over for them when I made, what was it, pumpkin? No, butternut squash soup. So, we'll just go ahead and use all of that. All right, and so now I'm going to let it just brew for a little bit. I'm going to cover it. And I'll put it on medium. And we'll check back with it and see what we have. All right, guys, see you in a bit. Okay, so while it is simmering, I'm going to squeeze this lemon juice inside of the soup just to give it some extra flavor. Just gonna wake the soup up, make it extra flavorful. And this is just a good idea to do with a lot of things. Just add a little lemon and a lime to it, lime juice, and it really makes a difference. All right, so I'm gonna stir that up, let it continue to simmer. And we'll check back in. Okay, so I just tasted the soup and it needs something extra, right? So I broke out some Cezanne um, Gelia seasoning packs, which always adds a little bit of a kick um, to the soup. And just, it just makes it a little bit more flavorful, which it needs something. So it's really important to test, taste it as you go. All right, guys, so let's taste it and see what we have okay it's been simmering for about 23 minutes or so and you want to let it cook for about 25 to 30 minutes okay that's about a good good enough time to let the lentils fully cook so let's see that's good that's real good and i will tell you all i went back and i added some Badia Saison Complete Seasoning, and it just has onions, garlic, um, parsley, and thyme. And so, just really took it up a notch. And that is it, guys. And I will show you the final product in just a bit. All right, so I'm gonna cut up some avocado just so that I can have with my soup. I love avocado on toast and soup by itself. I just love avocado. So. I just scooped it out with my spoon. And I'll do the same thing with that side. I'm just scooping it out. There we go. And then I'll slice it out, put a little sea salt on it. So delicious. And that's gonna go right on top of my soup. All right, so here it is, guys, in under 10 minutes. You have lentil soup, and I put avocados. I even put some unsweetened coconut on top with some sunflower seeds for the texture, and um, I cannot wait to eat this. By the way, these are the lentil beans that I chose to use. These are the organic red lentils. And uh, here is the unsweetened coconut, just in case you're interested. And of course, I topped it with some organic sunflower seeds. And that's all folks, I'm about to eat, I'm starving. And I hope this helps you in thinking of meal ideas and preparing something for yourself and your family. All right guys, I love you and I will see you next time.